briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2008 Supreme Court of Indiana case of Mumbrae v. State, sparked by a legal maelstrom on whether new rules about warrantless trash searches and evidence can be applied retroactively, the court found itself navigating the principles of precedent, privacy, and probable cause. The reverberations of this landmark case continue to resound through the legal landscape. The case was rooted in an ongoing drug investigation, hinging on the validity of a search warrant for the defendant's residence and a parallel warrantless backyard trash search. Incriminating evidence was retrieved in both instances. The defense contested the constitutionality of the warrant, arguing that it was overbroad and claimed the trash search conducted without a warrant was illegal, objections that the court had to decisively grapple with. Lower court rulings stood resolute in the face of these accusations. Postulating that the garbage sweep was legal under the Indiana Constitution, they pointed to individuals not possessing a reasonable expectation of privacy in garbage left outside for collection. They also upheld the validity of the search warrant, citing the catch-all language therein that sufficiently limited the officer's discretion and corroborated the probable cause. The defense, undeterred by the lower court's injunctions, appealed to the state Supreme Court. However, the apex court was firm in its conclusion. New rules on warrantless trash searches do not apply retroactively. The court benchmarked this decision with the Litchfield v. State ruling, stating that the pre-Litchfield doctrine should govern any challenges not touched upon in the trial court before Litchfield's verdict. The court found the trash search at Mombra's residence reasonable under the totality of circumstances, deeming it satisfied Litchfield's requirement of reasonable suspicion. It also substantiated the legality of the search warrant, asserting probable cause based on the information provided by a reliable informant and the evidence found in the legally retrieved trash. In a landmark decision, the Supreme Court affirmed the trial court's denial of the defense's motion to suppress and upheld the state's appeal for a turnover order. Simultaneously, it avowed that only those pre-Litchfield case litigants who raised the issue at trial would qualify for any prophylactic benevolence. Such a stance, it stated, was essential to prevent a race to appellate judgment, particularly crucial in cases like Mombrezes, where inherent probativity and reliability of evidence prevail. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 